Man, y'all remember TJX6, the controversial rapper known for scamming his fans and recently going viral for running off on an escort? Thousands. Don't you a rapper? No, I don't rap for that. Yeah, you do. Oh, Man, he's definitely seen better days, I'm gonna just say that. From blowing up as one of the prominent faces of the scam rap movement and essentially paving the way for Detroit artists today, such as Babyface Ray and Baby Tron. Man, he definitely made a movement and then disappeared altogether. We gotta talk about the crazy story of TJX6 because at one point he was one of the most popular watched people on the internet. And now he's basically scamming people for $5 on Twitter apparently, man. We gotta get into what really happened. But before we do, I'm gonna need y'all to do a couple things for me, man. First off, turn on post notifications, subscribe, make sure you like, comment, and also check out the merch at staysafeworld.com. We got some fire shit going on on there on the website, man. Tap into that. Let's get into this shit right now, man. Man, it's safe to say that TJX6 was a phenomenon at one point. From blowing up from his detailed instructions on songs and how he was scammed for thousands of dollars. At one point, TJX6 was so big, he was even being featured in HBO documentaries. And Complex even added that the future of scam rap was through TJX6. He became one of the forefathers of scam rap movement. He even went as far as staging getting arrested at his first LA show that went super viral on No Jumper, had a whole bunch of different videos explaining how to scam, and it definitely started a movement and made the whole scamming system more popular to the mainstream. Now, the only time we see him now though is through crusty videos looking like they got filmed on an android of him getting exposed in Red Roof Inn, Backpage Escorts. It's kind of interesting to see how he fell from grace. Cause at one point he was talking about getting signed by labels for $10 million, man. I feel like one of the biggest issues with his career was that he scammed his own fans. 500 cash at I see shit, nigga. Make some uh, costs up or what? Uh, Look. let me see. Y'all tell me some nasty shit. I'll mix some shit together right now. Uh, yeah, I don't even you know. You gotta tell me, nigga. We're everybody copy. Everybody copy with the bitch. Shit, give me some mixtures. I got, I got all types of shit. What y'all trying to see? <laughs> Let me say, nigga, they call you ugly as hell, bro. I'm going to fuck, fuck y'all, bitch. That <laughs> nigga said, nigga, ass ugly as hell. <laughs> bitch, I'm crazy. ugly, pull up. They said, mix hot sauce, mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. All right. Bitch, hot sauce. Bitch, Ranch mayonnaise. and pickles. Ugh, that shit. What the fuck with it, right? No, no just eat it, eat it, eat it. Oh, uh, what the fuck? Uh, but that ain't really nasty enough, bro. You gotta do something else. You and you spit it out. You ain't need swallow. You spit it out. Bro, you <laughs> spit it out, bro. You supposed to swallow it? Something yes, wrong. bro. Nah, you're tricky. And that's how you get scammed by TJX6. I mean, a lot of artists definitely scam his own fans, but he scammed them to the point where he essentially had no one else to scam after that. I mean, Kasha Kwan basically breaks it down in an interview on Say Cheese and basically says that TJX is done and he would scam his fans for $5. Like TJ, he, that nigga is still scamming niggas for $5 on Twitter. I don't know why he want $5, but the nigga posted met this for $10 on Twitter, bro. That's how bad it is at one point. I don't know if he's working a regular job now or if he just hung up the rapping altogether, but it seems like he just had a problem with his work ethic. 
I mean, it's sort of, you can sort of tell because he would say the same bars of different songs about his grandpa getting killed by T-Rexes, and he used that same bar about four or five different times. So it's like, man, was definitely running out of content. But I feel like the largest contribution to his downfall was the idea of scamming himself. You know, at one point, he was definitely making millions of views and streams and was super popular, but it's crazy now that the music he's dropping is struggling sometimes to even get a hundred views man on individual tracks let alone a thousand views so it's like how did he go down that far i feel like part of it was the fact that he got his instagram deleted or apparently people are saying on reddit that he sold his instagram I mean, he definitely probably scammed whoever he sold it. That's a hundred percent. It seems like there was one point even when fans were actually looking forward to get scammed by TJX6 because it was all part of his, you know, movement. But nowadays, it doesn't even seem like people are really tapping in on him at all. And it doesn't even look like he has an Instagram. I definitely feel like part of the reason why he definitely fell off is because he was hot from the feds, you know? There's no way. I was thinking about this in his heyday. This dude was literally promoting fraud Bibles and shit on his Instagram, essentially just taunting for the feds to see him. He had hundreds of thousands of followers. Like TJ, he, that nigga is still scamming the niggas for $5 on Twitter. I don't know why so you want $5, like, but he, there is no nigga way that you can this for $10 on Twitter, bro. do this even after you're that big and not get arrested. And I'm sure he definitely got arrested in that time. And he sort of fell off to the point that it's kind of hard to really capture how he fell off that hard because it's like bro you would think that like at one point you gotta like give up the scamming shit or give up the marketing of the scamming shit or else you're gonna end up going to jail so it kind of makes sense that he eventually had to fall off but i've been if you check out his new music that he's dropping is honestly better than the shit that he was coming out previously with you know who knows maybe this prostitution escort like exposure shit might even benefit his career because he's going viral again it's part of his whole shenanigans and like character to scam people so it honestly makes no sense in the video it's actually crazy he says he's not even a rapper even though he clearly be dropping music man so it's like whatever be going on with his career I feel like it definitely is probably going along with the downsides of scamming and being a viral entity in that type of way. You know, it's like these artists are their own biggest enemies. You know, at the end of the day, they're the people that are going to end up contributing to their downfall in the biggest way. It's like this dude is like a serial scammer. So what do you really even expect, man? But the fact that he even made it that far is honestly something to marvel at because it really puts scam rap on the planet, on the globe, across the world, everyone knew exactly what it was and he was definitely the face of it. Now, since then, there's been a lot of different other rappers like Baby Tron that sort of came up, 10K Cap, bunch of people that sort of like blew up from scamming also are talking about it as subject matter, but still no one really talked about it and really presented it and literally scam people while they were doing it and it's like how far do you really expect him to get when you're actually fucking scamming people while rapping about it man and then these niggas wonder why they were getting scammed man he probably would scam his family if he had the chance see i mean he rapped about it in songs so of course the downfall is going to be eventual but i don't think that this means that he is falling off forever because like i said his new music that he just dropped this year is low-key sounding pretty fire and now his songs only have like a couple hundred maybe barely even a thousand views but you know if he keeps going especially with this escort exposing him scandal he probably could get a thousand views a million views he'll probably come up and be able to get back on the same shit that he was going but the first thing he needs to do is buy back his instagram and his twitter because that shit is totally gone and i really feel like the only reason that it was gone in the first place was because the feds were definitely on his case man especially after that hbo documentary you know that shit crazy man but hey let me know in the comments what y'all think about that shit man real estate say shit you already know what's going on make sure you like comment subscribe man peace